Seabound is a climate tech startup based in London that's on a mission to decarbonize the shipping industry. We build carbon capture equipment specifically for ships to trap the CO2 in the exhaust that's coming out of their engines. So for the past several years, I've been trying to figure out how best to contribute to tackling the climate crisis, which I think is the greatest challenge that humanity is facing today. The shipping industry is one of the very last sectors that has yet to figure out how to reduce its CO2 emissions, and it currently accounts for about 3% of global CO2. If shipping were a country, it would actually be the sixth largest emitter in the world, so I recognize that we could have a really massive impact by decarbonizing shipping. Shipping is extremely hard to decarbonize because you need huge amounts of energy to transport large volumes of goods over long distances. If you picture a big container ship, sometimes they can fit up to 20,000 containers, so we simply can't electrify something of that size. There's therefore lots of efforts ongoing to make new types of future fuels for the industry, but unfortunately, these are still in the future. They're unlikely to help the ships on the water today. This is an urgent challenge for ship owners today because there's brand new global regulations that require all ships to reduce their CO2 emissions. And just this past summer, the International Maritime Organization agreed to an enhanced ambition to reach net zero greenhouse gas emissions by or around 2050. So we hook our system into the exhaust of the ship. So right before it would normally go into the atmosphere, instead it goes through our system. We bring the exhaust gas into contact with calcium oxide. That reacts at a pretty high temperature with the carbon dioxide in the exhaust gas and stores it in a solid form as calcium carbonate, which is limestone. And up to 95% of the carbon dioxide that's in the engine's exhaust can be reacted and stored as calcium carbonate. And then the cleaned exhaust goes into the atmosphere. We then store the limestone on board the ship, bring it back to port, and then either we can sell the limestone to be used as a building material, or we could separate the limestone back into quicklime and pure CO2 to then reuse the quicklime to capture more CO2 on another ship and sell the pure CO2 to make new products such as electrofuel or to be sequestered underground. One of the biggest challenges of this pilot project is the timeline that we've been working towards. We're racing to tackle the climate crisis as quickly as possible. And so every day matters, every ton of CO2 matters. And that's why we're really optimizing around urgency. We designed, built, and tested everything in our warehouse in London first. And then we packed everything up into trucks, brought it over to Turkey. And that's where the pilot ship is currently undergoing repairs in a shipyard. Seabound London team, we're on our way to, uh, to Turkey. We're on a ship, it's called the Sunyan Trader. It's the very first ship that we are installing our equipment onto. The Sunyan Trader is a container ship. She was now during her 20th anniversary special survey, which means may have another 10 years of service life. She's taking 3,200 containers, and she's one of five sister ships that have been owned and operated by our company. But because they're aging, they are struggling to keep up with the regulations. So it was an ideal uh, testing ground. At first, I was a bit nervous about coming to such a, a new environment. We had to get used to how things work at the shipyard. That's a very different environment than where we work in London. The scale of how many people are working here still kind of blows my mind. There are about 20 ships and roughly 10,000 workers at the shipyard. And I think it's pretty amazing to see something industrial at this scale. Life in the shipyard is not very easy. It's a difficult environment, it's very dangerous. Heavy things everywhere, but it's very rewarding at the same time. This first pilot project that Seabound is doing, it's really a test of the technology and its core. 
We're doing a small scale prototype on still quite a large ship. The main goal of this pilot project is to see how much CO2 we can capture on board this ship. We've already tested and de-risked the system on land, but now we need to see if our results hold true when we're using a marine engine and in a marine environment. This is a really important milestone for us because this is the first big project that we're doing out on the water. This project really pushed us to get out of our comfort zone and do things that we'd never done before. It's been very intense. In the middle of summer in Turkey, so very hot weather. Trying to work in with everything else that's going on during a ship repair is so challenging. I just had sweat dripping on my laptop. It's just a hot, confined, noisy space, and yeah, there's a lot of work that needs to get done We're around with loads of different pieces of equipment. We spend the whole day working really hard, but at the end it's really satisfying. There's kind of a lot of my time and energy that's gone into it. A lot of thought has gone into it, and to see it all work and come together as one integrated system is going to be really exciting. Whenever you're doing something new and Daring takes some sacrifice from the whole team to make something like this happen, especially with how fast we're trying to do it. But the payoff in the end will hopefully counterbalance that sacrifice. I'm really proud of the Seabound team. I think everyone has done an amazing job. Now we're about to set sail and do a sea trip. Bye bye, shipyard. After the ship sets sail from Turkey, we'll be sailing down to Egypt, through the Suez Canal, and then around to the Persian Gulf to run a variety of carbon capture tests. During the sea trial, we'll be measuring our CO2 capture efficiency, our sorbent consumption rate, and our energy consumption. We'll take all the data that we've collected on board to start designing a bigger, better version of our carbon capture system to bring to market next year. Our ambition is to capture CO2 on 1,000 ships by 2030 and 10,000 ships by 2040. I hope to demonstrate with this project that you can take on a really massive problem, even if you don't have a tremendous amount of historical experience in that industry, as long as you are focused, strategic, thoughtful and humble, and you work with really amazing people along the way.